Tommy TTK here, and we're looking at how to set module priorities correctly. I've got this eagle here, which I've uh, kitted out with some overcharged lasers, which, as you can see, gives me a total power usage of over 100%. It's at 118% uh, there, which is quite a lot. And this, this is quite a stupid loadout. I don't ever have a ship set up like this. But... This is what happens when I turn those lasers on. All my systems have turned off because the priorities were all set at 1 and I didn't have enough power to uh, to use any of them. So I'm running out of oxygen, I can't use my thrusters and my shields are offline too. So let's go ahead and put those uh, weapons away. There we go, atmosphere is stored, thrust is back online, and my shields should be coming back online. Just speed that up. What we're going to do is change the priorities here. So, we're going to have... Yeah, shields on three. Cargo hatch down as well. Everything else on one, weapons on two. Now, what that means is that if I deploy my weapons now... The shields and the cargo hatch should shut down, and everything else, being a higher priority, should be okay. The shield usage and the cargo hatch together add to more than uh, the 18% we need. And there you go, cargo hatch and shields offline. But everything else is fine. We uh, let's try moving the life support down now and see what happens. It's okay on two. Uh, there we go to three and four. It's now shut down because it's a lower priority than the cargo hatch and everything else. Let's switch that back on before we die. So now let's try something a bit more sensible. Let's have the shields a higher priority than the weapons. So, shields are on one. Weapons are lower. So now, when we deploy weapons, they should just go offline and I won't be able to shoot anything at all. But my life support will stay on. And my shields and my thrusters. There we go, weapons deployed. And there we go, they're in the red. I'm trying to fire, pressing primary fire now, but nothing is happening. And that's how it works. Now, I think in previous uh, betas, the way this worked was completely reversed. Where the higher the number, the higher the priority. And if you were aware of this and you used this system before, you may have found that in beta 2, your shields were getting torn to shreds incredibly fast. I know I did. <laughs> I did not realise for a while. So, uh... You get it the right way around, and here I'm setting something which is a bit more sensible. Again, this uh, ship's setup is kind of stupid, but as you can see, I've put my thrusters and the shields on one. I've got uh, two, three, four for the weapons, so some will go offline before the others to leave me something to shoot with. Cargo hatch can be way down there, and the other things, it's really up to you. I like to have life support a little bit lower down than you might think, so you can, you can survive without oxygen for a while, especially if you've bought uh, an upgraded module frame shift at one as well it's it depends what you're doing if you want to be able to escape quickly then you want your thrusters your frame shift drive up on a higher priority on number one so you can always get away uh, heat sinks as well useful to have at a, in an escape situation so there you go that's a bit more of a sensible setup there we'll see what happens if I deploy my weapons now okay no important systems going offline we can see one of the weapons and the cargo hatch is down but everything else is powered which is a lot better than having the entire ship shut down there we have it that's how to set priorities lower the number the higher the priority